In this video tutorial, we're going to show how we can import a gridline file after creating an adapt builder model from a Revit model. Now we're going to start here, and in this example, um, we're going to take the adapt Revit link. So this has been um, installed for Revit 2020. We're going to export this model out using some of the tools included in that adapt Revit link. We'll go ahead and export the data and we're going to go ahead here and just save this. And this will create an IMP file and that IMP file can then be used in Adapt Builder to create the Adapt Builder model. So we'll open now Adapt Builder 2019 and in this um, program we're going to select Edge with Floor Pro. These would be the two programs necessary for modeling, analyzing, and designing um, a multi-story structure in Adapt Builder. In, uh, in Adapt Builder, we're going to select File, Import, and here we're going to import the IMP file that we have just uh, created. Okay, we're going to select this grid lines option, and we're going to create a brand new model here under the import options. We have no load cases or combos. We're just going to import the geometry. We now have this, um, this file from Revit. The next thing that we're going to do is come back to the Revit file. I'm just going to go to a structural plan that includes the grid lines. So we'll use this basement plan for this file. We're going to select the option in Revit from File, Export. Uh, we're going to create a DWG or a DXF file. We'll use a DWG file. We're going to create this DWG for the current sheet only, and we'll go back and save this file back in our folder. Okay, back inside of our builder model, I'm going to go to just the single level, uh, the basement plan for this model, and I'll work in single level mode here. The same the same grid file can be referenced from whether we're in single level at any individual level or in global mode. So um, we'll go to File, Import, DWG, and we're going to go ahead and reference that file, that DWG file we just saved, which is this one here. I'll go ahead and open that. And the program is going to prompt us to calibrate the file. Um, so I'll calibrate. I'm not going to move the file in this dialog. I can move that after we uh, import it and calibrate. And we could just assign this, call this grid lines, for example, grid lines one. You can see the program is prompting us in this user message bar to calibrate, to select the first line of calibration. So we can then calibrate um, the dimension between these points. Okay, so we're going to actually go from grid 1 to 2, which is 33 and a half feet. I'll turn on my snap um, to endpoint tool from grid 1 over to grid 2. This is going to be 33.5 feet. We'll select OK. And then I'll zoom extents. We can see that that grid file, because it's referenced from the same uh, base point in Revit, it comes in in a proper location. Uh, from, for, for the adapt file that was also built from the Revit IMP export. This is how we would import the grid file. Um, once this is done, you can control the visibility of the grid file using visibility group library, and we can turn the grid file off and on using this option here. If you have any questions, please contact support at adaptsoft.com.